Hello, and welcome to my hammer station run. My name is Slicka, and let's get to it. So I've decided to use my trooper for hammer station. So by the looks at it, we got a vanguard, which is me, a Jedi guardian, which is damage. Looks like a commando, which is damage, and a scoundrel for healing. So Hammer Station is the first flashpoint that either faction can do. Every time I do a flashpoint now, I'll be with a specific character I already have planned. For example, my Sith Inquisitor, Karaji, will be doing Athos when I get around to it. So both Rylas and Karaji are both tanks, so... Um, you'll see me tank the next two flashpoints that I happen to be doing. So it's been a while since uh, I've actually played around with Rylas, so I was looking through his talents and all that to figure out what it's like. So this will be an experience for me, since I've never really tanked many uh, instances in Star Wars Old Republic. I have a lot of experience in WoW, I've tanked for with a Paladin since Burning Crusade, so I do have tanking experience. So let's see how this goes. So the idea of Hammer Station is it was kind of floating, um, abandoned by the Republic. It's actually a little trailer for it on StarWarsOldRepublic.com tour. Um, a race of Advisec found it and now they plan on using it. And it's up to us to stop them. There's only three bosses in this area. I'm gonna start going right now. So, uh, this is going to be the first one where Tank and Helen actually does play a pretty decent deal on it. Cells back up. Intruders detected. Hammer station security online. Lockdown in progress. been a while. I'm not sure if this healer is up to the task by looks of it. They uh, don't seem to be on a good course for this. But I mean it's only the first couple pulls. I'm not too worried. To me a boss would tell me if uh, it's going to be difficult. Might as well give them some vote of confidence or encouragement. I guess you're so close there's actually no point to uh, just sitting there. I can run up. So 
So it's a decently sized uh, area. to my So one cool thing you can do starting from these instances is actually open up secrets. I happen to have scavenging, so now check this out. I repaired the drill and it gives us a shortcut to the boss. So there are bonuses to actually leveling up your abilities. I believe uh, one, another one would be there's slicing for academy. Alright, so our first boss here is DN314 Tunneler. I'm just gonna charge in. Let's get this going. So as you can see, I got a like that laser can be cleansable if you're high enough level. Typically, I don't think you'd have it that low. Your cleansing ability. So targeting the laser is annoying. Okay, now. I gotta be careful as these things can blow up. Other than some in the ads, this is pretty much the boss. Kind of a joke. The cleansing is a big deal. He does hit hard on that laser ability. And just in time, too. So, we do not have any Jedi counselors in this group. So as long as you dodge those uh, target receptacles where the demolition droids blow up, you should be good to go. One thing about Hammer Station is the bosses start to ramp up in difficulty compared to the SLS and the uh, Black Town. I mean, I know those two are made for two players only, where this one's made for four, but...
a cool little area. Um, we are in space by the hammer station. I'm excited of it. In an asteroid. This is also the first instance that doesn't really get heavy on the cutscenes. The next heavy cutscene one will actually be a uh, Terrell 5 and boarding party. Respectively, since they're uh, Imperial and Republic only as well. Because of that, these instances might actually be shorter when you see me running through them. So, uh, for those wondering, I just get a new rank of Mortar Volley and I get Riot Strike, which is my interrupt. So, I don't have the ability over here, but I believe Elevator Controls is slicing. You can actually use to bypass these little guys. And we happen to have someone who couldn't do it. That's awesome. Oh, here's the elevator. <laughs> As you can see, just doing that was a big deal. Probably did not have to pull that, but oh well. So we're coming up on our second boss. Our second boss is kind of three little mini bosses. Um, it's like a council type boss. For those who know what those fights are all about. This is Worgen the Volcano. Sawbones jumps and 2RCH torch. 
So most people go after Sawbones first as he heals. Torch is minor and Vorgan's the main guy. I guess we're going after Torch for whatever reason. So it's pretty much a tank and spank fight. There's nothing major about this. Probably the easiest fight in here. The final boss is kind of a bit of a pain. Good challenge for those beginning to learn how to raid and get your practice in. Or I guess into our operations. Higher level heroic content. This instance is a level 55 heroic now, as I'm doing it. Um, I've actually, it's the only one I've never gotten. Cause I just hit random. Alright, so grats to our smuggler scoundrel. So this is like the only cutscene you pretty much get in Hammer Station. And goes for a lot of them give you one alignment um, thing. I'm gonna end up killing them. Looks like my uh, thing won. I'm just gonna make it easier for me, why not? So running in here on say the bounty hunter usually gets you a lot of bounty hunter loot. I've actually never seen a lot of this loot that's dropping for the other classes. I don't have guard up for whatever reason. So as you see, we're almost at the final boss. Be careful when you're running across. Wait until the laser fires before you run across the bridge. I've seen it so many times where people just run across and fall off because the bridge disappears as the laser goes off. Thank you. 
So, uh, we're looking at Hammer Station. What do you guys think about this instance? I mean, I know we're not all done, but after watching the video, why don't you leave uh, your thoughts in the comments below? Mm -hmm. So you can actually see the final boss from here. Oh, we're jump. We just heard his voice. Yeah, that's it. So as you can see, Starhammer's still back there. Alright, here's Battlelord Krishan, the final boss of Hammer Station. We defeat him, we're done. So he can actually be very difficult. He's a pain to heal, I'll tell you that much. I have healed him on my bounty hunter. Oh, I'm at level, at this level. And you don't have very many heals. Like, you have two heals, rapid skin and... I believe it's medical skin? I can't remember all your skin. I am a yes. lord of the Atmos hegemony. You will fall before me. Alright, so one thing is he'll spare a cone. Just be careful. He'll place bombs, which you see right there. Avoid that too. He'll call at. Your weakness is in your blood. That's literally his entire uh, thing. Not sure where the ads come from, unless that's just him dropping his ball. Oh, they're already dead. As you can see, you move out of it when he places a bomb where you are. Or that'll happen. He'll knock back you too. Or do a knockback as well. The so bombs don't do as that much damage as I kind of played it off to be, but. Be careful, make sure you don't uh, kind of have your back to the cannon where you can fall off if it is possible. It's a lot easier than I remember, but I don't know if they nerfed him or what. That's a possibility. I remember even uh, hardcore players praising how difficult he was. All right. Check out our new weapon. It looks like a small sniper. And that is Hammer Station. So, I'd like to thank Halfit, Starhammer, and Fangord for helping me out on this. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe as it really helps. You'll see me exit the area. Um. 
And basically, good luck. I mean, keep checking back for more video updates. And next time when I do a Flashpoint run, it'll be Athos with Kiraji. So, hope you guys have uh, fun running Hammer Station. Hopefully this helps you guys with your uh, strategies if you guys have never seen it before.